This is InfoLife TV headline news June 5th. I'm Margot Dutkevich, delivering his first public address since claiming victory in his quest for the Democratic presidential nomination. Barack Obama tried to make the case on Wednesday that no one should question his support for Israel. Speaking at the three-day APEC conference, Obama said Jerusalem will remain the capital of Israel and it must remain undivided. Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas on Wednesday called for a renewal dialogue with Hamas in what appeared to be an about-face after insisting for a year he would talk to the group only if they gave up control of Gaza. Hamas, who seized Gaza by force last year, immediately welcomed Abbas's offer. Abbas gave no details about a future dialogue, including whether he himself would participate. Israel's Shin Bet is concerned over a terror cell that is using sophisticated methods attempting to kidnap Israeli Air Force officers, Channel 10 reported Wednesday. The cell was discovered when an officer received a call to his military-issued cellular phone by a man claiming to be a commander of a new top-secret IF squadron. The man tried to extract information from the officer. The Shin Bet Security Service believes it's likely that former Knesset member and Ballad chairman Azmi Bashara is trying to recruit activists in his Israeli Arab party to serve Hezbollah and other enemy groups. Bashara, who left Israel last year amid suspicions that he collaborated with Hezbollah, is continuing to maintain contacts with groups hostile to Israel. Al-Qaeda's number two leader called on Muslims to launch a holy war to break Israel's economic blockade of Gaza in an audio recording posted Wednesday on an Islamic militant internet site. In the 11-minute tape, Ayman al-Zahwiri said in Arabic that the salvation of the Muslim nation must be through jihad. Tel Aviv Yaffa Municipality in the wholesale market for agricultural produce will sell a 55,000 square meter parcel of land in central Tel Aviv that could be worth as much as $1.2 billion. The sale on the site is the largest ever of a single development property in Israel. Tune in to InfoLive TV for the daily sports update. That's all for InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television website that broadcasts in four languages to the world.